All right, welcome back to the party. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic week. We are feeding a lot of snakes. On this episode, we got a few frozen thawed, and then we got a few lives. So if you guys don't like lives, this is your heads up not to keep on watching. But some of these are having issues with feeding, and uh, I think a lot of these liked uh, the fact that I was feeding them lives. And now I've been trying to get most of them onto frozen thaws. Some of them are doing pretty well. Some of them are still having issues with that. So let's get into this. So we got some mediums and we got some smalls. And of course they're all rats. But there is a pretty big difference between the smalls and the mediums. So it's a fine line between wanting to swap over. So we're going to feed her. This is a fire, a fire enchi clown if she wants to eat. So there we go. Uh, she's right around 1,000, 1,100 grams. And I had her paired with the leopard yellow belly clown and they locked up. So that is super exciting. And I don't know if anything is actually going to happen with that. So here is a fire mahogany clown. And he's going to eat the live. So... I don't know how I'm going to do this. So here's a mahogany pied, and this one should eat a frozen thawed. Not very good at taking the meals off of the tongs, so chances are I'm just going to have to leave this in here, come back later, and it'll probably be gone, but it's kind of interested, maybe... Possibly not. So it's interesting how some of these want their privacy. And yeah, this is not going so well. So let me take this off of here. Looks like we're just going to have to do both combined. I wasn't going to do all frozen thawed, but at first I'm into the lives. But that's not really going to work out too well. So let me just try to find a really, really tiny one in here. All right, here she is. Try not to get bit by doing this. You want to eat? Yes, yes, yes. There you go. Good job. Beautiful snake. Awesome markings on her. So we'll put her back and continue on. And we got a pastel pied right here. So this is where it gets a little confusing because the um, the rat smalls are a good size, and then that possibility could go with the mediums, but the mediums are just so much bigger. No problems eating. Looks like she might be in shed, so either way, it's a good thing that she's chowing down. We got this female banana pie, and uh, she had a really bad shed, obviously, so thinking about soaking her, but... She's doing all right. We got all the important shed off of her. And then if she sheds out again, it'll get rid of all that uh, sticky shed. So it's winter time. It is not the greatest um, in here with humidity. Oh, I was like, whoa, where'd this snake go? So uh, let's move him. I have him with this lady right here. So this is the pastel clown. And then the yellow belly uh, leopard clown. Phenomenal looking snake. Need some water. We'll take that urine out of there. But I have not seen. I dropped the rat. So I've not seen any locks with him in the pastel clown. But I put him in with this fire enchi clown. And like six hours later, they were locked up. So that is exciting. Although it would have been nice to get the past out to do something. I don't know what's going on with her. So I'm just having a mess of a time with this. And then we'll get another smaller one. That looks pretty good. And we got an inchy mahogany pied beautiful snake definitely hungry 
And then we have a male vanilla spot nose clown. Really pretty snake. Really excited for him. As a future breeder, I love the spot nose clowns and um, the vanilla. It's just a really good gene because it is a enhancer. So it makes the colors brighter, keeps the colors better as they age because we all know, or if you don't know, ball pythons love to doll out and look ugly as adults. So when we can get an enhancer like that, Desert Ghost or Fire, Everything's better, so what are you guys doing? Being friends? You're not hungry? It looked like he was hungry. So it'd be kind of cool to add that into the Batman. We're not going to waste too much time on that. The Super Mojave is looking really good. Another one that eats live. Um... And then we'll come back to that one. So we fed, we have not fed this one yet. So this girl's looking good. Black pastel pied. And I don't have enough food, so we're gonna have to come back for that one. Um, Orange dream, Enchi leopard male. This dude was doing all right. Um, he needs a really big meal. This dude's been breeding constantly. So I fed him the other day and he ate. So he stopped eating frozen thawed for a couple of days, which got me a little bit nervous because I've been breeding him too much. And I've always been told if you keep breeding the males too much, they'll go off food and then they can die. So um, I didn't breed him for like two weeks. He wasn't eating, so I got really nervous. And then I threw a live in there a couple of days ago and then he ate. So he's doing all right. So I guess we got to go back to the lives. But as long as he's eating, I don't care. He needs a break though, and I'll show you who I paired him to uh, not too long ago. This girl is phenomenal. If we can get the right lighting in here. So this is the Red Stripe Chocolate Leopard Clown. And then we'll see another Chocolate Leopard Clown as well and see how big of a difference that Red Stripe uh, throws. So let's get another smaller meal. If there is any smaller ones. So we don't want to go too big. But I think that one is okay. There we go. No problems. And we'll go over here. To this girl right here. This is an ivory inchy uh, pied. So it's the super yellow belly which is beautiful. Let's see if she wants to eat. There we go. I love the colors and the patterns. Obviously they're way more bold um, as babies. You can really see, I mean, she has a really nice head stamp on her. And then you can see a lot more of the yellow uh, pattern as babies. She's definitely faded out a lot, but still a really cool, really cool snake. Got a lot of these from Justin Kabulka. This is a Kabulka snake, so um, some people were saying it's not a pied, but you can see the breaks in it, and then you can tell it's a pied if, if you get good lighting on it. This one is another really awesome one. It's an Orange Dream uh, Enchi Leopard Pied. I heard something get eaten. There we go. Finally. And it looks kind of like she's in shed. She doesn't have the best colors on her. It looks a little dulled out. But we'll see if she wants to eat. So we'll go in here and get kind of like a bigger one. So that's not bad. And then we'll just see if he, or I mean she, wants to eat. And it looks like... There we go. Yeah, definitely in shed. You can see the eyes are a little glossed over. And I don't want to get bit. Even though doing this can still get you bit. Let's see if you want to eat a little. So, you got to be careful feeding lives. Um, I think rats this size could do some damage. Anything smaller than this would not really hurt the snake. But I'm still seeing a lot of people on different platforms and stuff saying that they left a rat in there they forgot about it came back like a day or two later and the rat 
chewed on the snake. So this is the the leopard uh, leopard chocolate clown male, and you can definitely tell the difference uh, that the red stripe actually has on these snakes. So that one is for sure a leopard. We'll see if dude wants to eat. So this is a little dangerous on feeding them. <laughs> Ow! And I got bit. So like I said, super dangerous on doing this. So definitely not the greatest. There we go. Put that back. So I definitely got tagged. And on these sides, it's fine. I would not do that with the anacondas <laughs> or the boas. But uh, yeah, it's never pleasant. I should not have been doing that. Huh. But it is what it is. It doesn't hurt. Mystic Potion Male. This guy definitely needs to eat. But we'll come back. because I He's on Frozen Thawed and I don't want to get him off of Frozen Thawed. So, got to change the water. It just is a little weird color because of the Repti Chip. Has dyed the water. This snake is beautiful. Yellow Belly. Orange Dream. And she pied. And... Let's do this again and not get bitten. So, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Perfect. And why are you wanting to bite this snake? There we go. So let's just save the snake. I don't think this teeth would do anything. It's not, they're not sharp enough, but still don't want this snake to get injured. Somebody's getting eaten over there. But I know this is like amateur hour. <laughs> not knowing what not knowing what I'm doing what I'm doing, getting bit. I should have a pen, so there we go. Yeah, those teeth aren't. They're not gonna do nothing. So who got who ate? There we go. This one is, is eating. So, teeth are in the right area. I should have a pen to put in the mouth, but we're not gonna watch that thing suffer. So, onward to the next one. The albinos ate earlier. You can see some nice, nice and plump. And, we're gonna move on down. So this male, right here, the Orange Dream Enchi Leopard Pied, has bred to this female multiple times. She's eating fine on Frozen Thawed, so we're not gonna mess around with that. This one right here is a Mahogany Leopard Clown. So we'll see if this dude wants to eat. He's been an okay eater, but nothing like to brag about. <laughs> Black pastel pie, this girl's massive. She's on, she just shed out. She's on Frozen Thought, I'm not gonna swap anything over with that. And then the Batman, or Batgirl, since it's a female. Um, these are all really big meals, but I think that's okay. So, well, that was quick, nice and easy, and that's possible red stripe. I really don't know how to tell red stripe. It's one of those genes. Well, I can't eat the chocolate, but it's one of those genes where a lot of people say uh, pos possible this and possible that, just because it's not the easiest thing to spot. So, superfly clown. So it's a super pastel fire. So I got a lot of fire stuff. And then Clown. So she went off of Frozen Thawed. I don't know why. And then I tossed a live in here. Uh, and then she ate it. So I don't know what the deal was. Oh gosh, I'm going to get bit again. Why am I doing that? <laughs> so there's a little urine in there I got to take out. So hopefully she'll eat, but just a beautiful snake. She was very vibrant yellow as a baby. She really hasn't lost a lot of the coloration. She's lost some, but it's because of that fire in there. But it's crazy how the color change on the super pastel is. 
because uh, you guys saw the regular pastel clown and then obviously the fire is doing a lot of crazy stuff with it so we'll just close this up in there and this girl so oh she's in shed so uh we'll try we'll try to feed her she's been on lives as well but this is also a snake that the orange dream has uh locked up so this is a fire yellow belly and she and we definitely oh great i'm gonna get bit again <laughs> So she probably won't eat just because she's in shed. We're gonna close that up just in case. So, um, really, that is kind of it. Cause I got some extras just in case some didn't eat or uh, one died in transit or cause I had them for like two or three days. But I got carrots and water in there, so that's fine. Somebody just, somebody's doing something. All right, there we go. So. This dude's trying to chow down on her, but everything's okay, it seems. And then we'll just move her body around. And then we'll put this in between the teeth. There we go. That's why I hate feeding live. Because some of these rats can really do some damage. But now that there's a barrier in between the jaw and the teeth, no problems. So, and she's in shed. So any little marks or bumps will be taken care of. So, that is it. Feeding live is a pain in the butt. So, this girl again went off of frozen thawed. I have no idea why these things are going off frozen thawed. Uh, I leave them in the room. They get up to 85 degrees, 90 degrees. Um, and then there we go. So, the teeth can do some damage. Oh, she'll be all right. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know why they're going back on lives. But that is... Just kind of how all this stuff is going. So that is it. Not the best feeding. Um, <laughs> I know amateur hour. I know wild. So I need to do better. I need to pay more attention. But it's okay. So nobody really, nobody died. Nobody got hurt. So that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next video.